This is page 81 of your math journal. We're going to call this one writing equations. Okay, we first need to define what an equation is. So let's put a star and I want you to write first I want you to write expression. We talked about these in the last chapter, but I need to remind you what an expression is compared to what an equation is. An expression is numbers operations and and I put or because I don't always need it and or variables that represent a situation. Okay, and then I told you something really important was that there is no equal sign. So, if there's no equal sign in that, the difference between an expression and an equation is that you actually have the equals in there. So an equation is setting an expression equal to something. So now we have an equal sign. Okay, once again, these usually need to represent real life situations. So an example of an equation, let's write a couple of them. Um, you used to do them all the time. It, but the, well, now we're just putting names to them. So example, let's say I had some candy I ate three pieces and now I have eight pieces left. Okay, my expression that I'd be talking about is having some candy and eating three pieces. But now we have something that's equal to. Have is an equals word. So if I ate three pieces of candy, that means I three went away from it. Some candy, I don't know what that is, so this is where I get to define my variable. So to find my variable, I'm going to say C is candy I had at the beginning. Okay, now to create an equation for this, my expression for what happened was I had some candy and I ate three pieces. But now I'm setting that equal because I know the value is eight. This would be the equation that matches this story up here. Okay, now with that, there are some words that mean equal, and they all have to do with the word is. So here, with big stars around it, I want you to write um, words 
that mean equal? Okay, the most common one is going to be is. I want you to underline that one twice because that one right there is going to be the one you're going to see most of the time. 2 plus 2 is 4. But there might also be, this is where you're going to have to think a little English language arts stuff with me. I want you to think of other word, forms of the word is. Have. Past tense. Had. There are. R is another one. Was. Has. See how these are all forms of the word is? I have five dollars. I had five dollars. There are five dollars. There was five dollars. She has five dollars. But all of these help you to know that you're talking about equals. Okay, let's do another example of writing an equation. Jane had, or Jane is 14. Her brother is 14 there's an equals word so Jane is 14 her brother is so here her brother is half of her age do we know her brother's age no that would be our unknown so I'm going to define my variable I'm gonna say B is brother brother's age So Jane is 14, so we know how old Jane is. Half of, of is a multiplication. Or because I'm talking about half, I could think divide by 2. We know Jane's age. It was given to us right here. So an equation to match this situation could be 1 half B equals or, sorry, that, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong. One half of her age, which we know is 14, equals B, her brother's age. Or we could do 14 divided by 2, there's our half part, equals brother's age. Now, from here, you can figure out what brother's age is, but this would be an equation. All I did was turn the story into an equation. Now this is where a solution comes in. Okay, I want you to write a star. We're going to write another um, definition here. A solution. Is a value that makes an equation true. So looking back at these two examples we had up here, we had two equations. We had c minus 3 equals 8. And another one we had was 14 divided by 2 equals b. Okay, if I'm looking for solutions, I want to know something that makes this true. So we're going to test a few numbers. Okay, I want to know is each number a solution? Okay, 
I want you to write C equals 9, C equals 13, C equals 11, and C equals 20. Okay, about half a page over underneath this equation, I want you to write B equals 6, B equals 9, B equals 8, and B equals 7. Okay, how can you tell if something is a solution? Well, if I put it in here, it has to be true. So, 9 minus 3 equal 8. Is 9 a solution? Well, 9 minus 3 is 6. 6 does not equal 8, so no, this is not a solution, because that is not equal to that. Okay, let's try 13. 13 minus 3 equals 8. 13 minus 3 is 10. 10 does not equal 8, so no, that is not a solution. Put in 11. 11 minus 3 equals 8. That is true, so yes. 11 is the solution for this equation. Okay, try 20. 20 minus 3 equals 8. 20 minus 3 is 17. Those are not equal to each other, so it is not a solution. Okay, let's try this over here. 14 divided by 2. And I'm plugging in 6 for B. Is 14 divided by 2 6? No. So that's not a solution. 14 minus 2, or sorry, divide by 2 equals 9. Nope, not a solution. 14 divided by 2 equal 8. Nope, not a solution. 14 divided by 2 equals 7. Yes. 7 is a solution to this equation. That's how to determine if your number is a solution. You're just plugging it back in where the variable is and seeing if it works. And that's all for today's lesson.